Hey, it's Scotty. I am at the pet shop and I wanted to talk today about guinea pigs and how much do guinea pigs really cost? Because of course you go in, you see them, they're really cute and um, you know, they're pretty inexpensive as far as pets go. Uh, probably about $35 or so. Maybe there's some skinny pigs here. We'll go check and see. Those are usually a little bit more. But there's a lot of costs that people don't think about when they're thinking about getting guinea pigs. So I want to go through and talk about some of those costs when it comes to cage setup and diet and even some hidden costs that you might not be thinking about but certainly are going to be very important if you're thinking about getting guinea pigs because unfortunately there's so many guinea pigs at the shelters and at the rescues because people just got in over their head and they didn't realize how expensive, how time consuming and how much work it is to take care of these guys. So let's go see it. Let's go look at some guinea pigs. They're playing some cheesy music in the store, so I'm turning the sound off because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. But look, the guinea pigs are $49. How much are the hairless piggies? We've got a double order coming in I this see. week. You couldn't even see him, poor guy, hiding in his igloo. But according to the website, they're $129. He's the only piggy in the store, and I'm glad he's expensive so people don't just buy him as an impulse buy. Well, let's look at some prices for cages and other supplies like food and things. 112 for that little cage. Guinea pigs need a minimum of 8 square feet, and none of these cages come even close to that. For that price, $40, you could build a huge CNC cage. $17.99 for this bag of food, and this is one of the brands we recommend at the rescue. This bag should last a pair of piggies two weeks or a month. It's been so long since I've only had two piggies that I'm not exactly sure how long it would last. Hay should be 80% of a guinea pig's diet, and they should be eating a big pile every day. This bag should probably last a few weeks. Again, it's been so long since I've only had a pair of guinea pigs. I buy hay by the bale at the feed store. I was looking for kiln dried pine bedding, but all I could find was this Carefresh, and this bag for $24 would only get you one cage cleaning with the appropriate size cage. Carefresh is acceptable bedding, but I don't like it because it's stinky when it gets wet and it's extremely expensive as you can see. Kiln dried pine or fleece is a better option. Even the water bottles are 10 bucks, so you see prices are really starting to add up. Let's get out of here and continue the conversation at the rescue. So we're back at the rescue now, and uh, this is Clarice. Clarice was surrendered to the local shelter near where I live, and uh, she's going to come here, uh, and we're going to hopefully find her a good home. As you could see, some of those little tiny crappy plastic cages were over $100. Okay, now I do have a video called Don't Waste Your Money, uh, and it goes through talking about what you should and shouldn't spend your money on when it comes to guinea pigs. So actually what I did like was the fact that uh, the guinea pigs were 45 instead of 35, but still we're talking about a $120, $130 cage for a $45 pet. But of course, the whole point of this video is that it's not the cost of the pet that is the thing, it's really, there's a lot of extra costs that you need to consider. So there's the cage, there is also the fact that guinea pigs should never live alone. So you're not spending $45, you're spending $90 because you need to get a pair of guinea pigs. Now they only had one there at that pet shop and a lot of times people will get guinea pigs and then they'll end up fighting. So I have an entire guinea pig care guide on my website scotty's animals so i really this is just a brief overview to explain that guinea pigs cost a lot more than it seemed like so i really hope you'll check out and read my free guinea pig care guide because it goes through everything that you need to know everything that i've learned volunteering here at the la guinea pig rescue so you need to have a pair of pigs uh even a group of girls is fine but boys should live in a pair you need to have uh, an adequate cage. They don't even sell cages that are big enough. So in my care guide, I talk about CNC cages. You're so talkative. Oh, because you see this lettuce. She already had probably uh, 
twice this lettuce on the way over here. You're still hungry? <laughs> Always. So the type of cage we recommend are a CNC cage. You can build one for about $40 and I've got everything that you need to know on my care guide about how to build it. But that can save you money because you don't want to be spending money that you don't need to spend. You want to spend it on the right things. Okay, I'm going to do a much bigger in-depth video about what to spend your money on, how much guinea pigs really cost. But I just want to, in this quick short video, drive home the idea that guinea pigs are more than just a $45 starter pet. There's no such thing as a starter pet. And you're going to end up spending a lot more in one month than just $45, okay? Guinea pigs need pellets, they need fresh veggies, and they need lots and lots of hay. A guinea pig should be eating a pile of hay practically as big as them every day. And you can see the pet store prices for a small pillow sized bag of hay is about $20. Okay, now of course you need bedding in your cage, you need a water bottle and a food dish. The prices are starting to add up, okay? Now in the case of an illness, and just like you and I, uh, guinea pigs just like people occasionally get sick. Just to walk into the door of a vet could cost you $100. And if it's an emergency situation, it could be a lot more than that. So um, we do recommend pet health insurance. Uh, and it's always a good idea to have a little emergency fund of a few hundred dollars just in case you do have to take your pigs to the vet. You are the sweetest. Can you match my shirt? So between vet bills and food and cage housing and cage mates and, you know, if you want to have little guinea pigs love tunnels, they love to feel secure. And so do we have any cuddle cups? A cuddle cup would be like a fleece made cup that they can sit in and feel safe and secure. And so that if she pees, she's not going to pee on me. I love you, Clarice. So Clarice is going to stay here and we're going to do our best to find her a home. Right now, we're not getting that many adoptions and it's crazy to me to think that there's all these pigs at animal shelters, at pet stores. You know, people walk in and they buy guinea pigs. They don't know how much they're going to cost. They don't know what they're getting into. And then they end up taking them to the animal shelter or here. And if they did a little bit of research, then they would learn the true cost of guinea pigs. So that's what this video is for. That's what my free guinea pig care guide is for. And that's what my whole channel is devoted to, is to helping you learn about guinea pigs, to raise awareness for how awesome they really are, and to help you give them the best life. You ready to go meet your new friends? Come on, let's go. Hey, we're gonna go introduce her to her new friends. You wanna come along? Come on, Clarice. There you go. Go meet your new friends, Clarice. What do you think? Say hi to Clarice. No, I don't have any more lettuce. You feel safe? You feel safe under there? She was shy at first, but later I found her sharing hay with a new friend. I'm glad that she feels safe and secure at the rescue. Until next time, thanks for watching.